with Tropical Storm Cristobal as it continues to work its way closer to Louisiana with an expected landfall a little later on during the day today. Right now, though, take a look and you can see what we're looking at here across the region. Uh, as of 4 a.m. here, winds are at 50 miles per hour, moving north at 12, and the pressure is still 993 millibars, about 140 miles south-southwest of the mouth of the Mississippi River this morning. You can see here it does not look very impressive with things and thunderstorms wrapping around the center. Uh, really, a lot of the dry air continues to infiltrate this and causing some problems for us. Uh, moving forward here, though, you'll see that we are looking at uh, landfall still expected to occur later on this afternoon with about 50 mile per hour winds with some higher gusts. Then it kind of turns northwest briefly over toward the Monroe area up through Arkansas and then back all the way to Chicago eventually, believe it or not. So we're going to continue looking at that as it moves on into the north. But you can see here we are looking at uh, basically here a landfall occurring near Cocodri, Terrebonne Bay area, uh, roughly between, say, 1 o'clock and about 6 o'clock this evening. And then it continues on north, northeast west, I guess, over the Baton Rouge area. So it does kind of move just immediately west of the New Orleans area. Now, we still have a lot of that dry air kind of wrapping around it. And because of that, that is really limiting the amount of rainfall we can see around the center at this point. Now, once it moves inland, usually the rain, span, rain uh, area expands quite a bit. And that's where we'll start seeing more of this. And then once it moves north of us, we'll see that bigger wind field coming or rain field coming on in with some feeder bands. But you can see that dry air kind of sneaking all the way toward the, almost the Florida pan handle now. So the rain kind of stretches from the center through parts of the Florida Panhandle through the peninsula of Florida at this time. Now we do have tropical storm, of course, warnings in effect for all southeast Louisiana, the Mississippi Gulf Coast as well, and storm surge warnings. Now we are still expecting a storm surge here from roughly uh, parts of Plaquemines Parish, mouth the Mississippi River to about uh, Ocean Springs, Mississippi, around three to five feet, one to three across Lake Pontchartrain, and still two to four feet here from the mouth of Mississippi River all the way to about Morgan City. So coastal flooding is going to be a problem, especially for those areas outside the hurricane and protection levee system. So just to keep that in mind if you live in those areas. Now what to expect on the North Shore? Again, we're looking at rain totals between now all the way through Monday morning or so, about four to eight inches. Uh, wind around 30 to 40 miles per hour with some higher gusts and storm surge about one to three feet there along Lake Pontchartrain and Moripaw. Metro area here across New Orleans, we're still looking at about four to eight inches of rain. Winds maybe a little bit higher, 35 to 45 with gusts maybe to 60. And storm surge outside the levee system around three to five feet there across parts to the eastern part of the area there. Back over toward the river parishes, you can see we are looking at rain totals about three to six, so not as high, uh, but still going to be looking at some rain there, still some gusty winds as well, and over toward the lake there and along the Mississippi River, about a one to two foot storm surge. Farther to the south, we are looking at, uh, again, rain about one to three inches, so not quite as bad there, uh, but still looking at some gusty winds as the storm moves in later today, and a surge around two to four feet of the bayou parishes, and over there farther to the south east we are looking at again still rain around four to eight inches there gusty winds 35 to 40 and that storm surge about three to five feet and along the mississippi coast uh, also looking at very heavy rain again four to eight plus some places possibly could pick up even more if a rain band sets up of those regions on monday and we are looking at 30 to 40 mile per hour winds with that surge around three to five feet there as well too you can see the forecast models here by six o'clock both have the landfall there across part of the terrebonne bay area so that's kind of basically they're in significant agreement which is good with that heavy rain continue to spiral around here's kind of how it plays out you see throughout the morning some of those bands of heavy rain start spiraling the way across southeast louisiana through the metro area through london time today as we head through the afternoon more of that heavy rain coming in and very heavy rain setting up here across part of the mississippi coast spreading to the north shore and that's one area we're going to watch that location there uh, as the center of circulation moves on in so this is six o'clock as we head to ten o'clock look at that very heavy rain kind of wrapping around the north shore all the way through the mississippi coast still we'll get some here but since we're close enough to the circulation center here the outer part of it that's where the heaviest rain will be so i think our highest totals are going to be across the north shore mississippi coastal areas need to be really well aware this is 10 o'clock tonight overnight into tomorrow morning it does taper off to just some scattered showers across much of southeast louisiana so a little reprieve early on monday morning but as we get to 10 o'clock we start seeing these feeder bands as cristobal works its way toward monroe and beyond these bands will start setting up and this is what we really need to watch out for on monday where they set up they can 
could stay in the same area for hours and that could lead to additional flooding issues for us. So you can see this is 10 o'clock in the morning and notice that one band continues to be somewhat persistent to about 4, 430 in the afternoon on Monday. So that's something we'll be watching very closely for. And then finally, the rain starts tapering off a little more by Monday night and heading into Tuesday, looking at just some scattered showers out there. Nothing too significant anymore for that time frame. You'll see the tropical storm force winds be moving in this morning and they'll continue to spread across the area through again this afternoon and then all the way into parts of uh, next week or rather Monday time frame really sets tomorrow we will still see things improving here's an idea for you these winds picking up you can see by 7 a.m. Uh, sustained winds around 27 but some possible gusts over 40 miles per hour we'll continue seeing the sustained winds near 30 miles per hour across the metro area with higher gusts over 50 by 10 o'clock this morning and as we head on into the afternoon still sustained around 20 to 30 with gusts over 40 through 4 o'clock and then heading on into 10 o'clock tonight as the center of circulation moves by you'll see things a little bit different there the winds kind of die down but since that center is going by with the outer edge of a Gulf Ward area coastal area still wind gusts through tomorrow morning over 40 miles per hour with that so again kind of recapping here rainfall three to eight inches four to eight inches few places to over 10 inches I think especially the North Shore Mississippi coast that surge along the lakes around one to three feet coast three to five feet winds again 30 to 50 miles per hour some higher gusts and a few tornadoes will be possible as well well in some of these rain bands so we'll be watching very closely for that and so do expect some power outages today through tuesday there you see that heavy rain from the mississippi coast to the north shore there so that's really where the worst of it will be not so much near the homa area back toward morgan city as we go forward here so flash flood watch remains in effect until tuesday morning possible totals around four to eight inches with localized 10 inches out there so we do need to be aware of that so you need to have a plan know where to get weather alerts here on channel four weather radio the web or your cell phone and of course get the latest information information here on channel four our website and our social media sites as well you can find me meteorologist dave nussbaum on facebook and dave underscore nussbaum on twitter now right now we have a lot of clouds out there temperatures in the 70s but you'll see some of these rain bands starting to push through the area here uh, right now a lot of it's over the coastal areas but there you can see some of the rain working its way across the area uh, again they're quick downpours but they're moving fairly quickly here but this will be the trend throughout the morning seeing more of this through the metro new orleans area back over to gentilly michoud area and chalmette Farther to the south, a little more heavier rain from uh, over towards Jean Lafitte area, back over to Leeville, uh, back to Grand Isle, as well as into Lower Plaquemines Parish. You can see those bands kind of spiraling in. We'll see more of this as the day, and some strong winds with any rain band occurring as well, too. All right now, nothing to worry about with tornadoes. That's something we'll be seeing probably earlier this morning here. As we get into parts of Florida, where they had tornadoes in Orlando yesterday and over toward the Florida Panhandle toward Mobile, we'll see some of that. And the bigger picture does show here that we are looking at overall uh, that system kind of stretching from Louisiana all the way through much of Florida at this point. So that is a quick little update here, a little longer update. But nonetheless, though, I will continue to watch here closely as what we have going on with Cristobal as it goes throughout the day today. We'll have our newscast starting at 6 a.m. and have you covered all day long and all night tonight night too so definitely stay with channel four throughout the day your best coverage here in new orleans for any kind of tropical system well i'm dave nussbaum and right now uh, we'll go back to uh, just kind of monitoring stage of things but do expect things to go downhill as the day goes on